Good morning. It's Monday, May 18th. And this is Core Fusion for the start of this week. I do it again on Wednesday at 8.30. And it's great to have you all here if you're viewing this at a later time. This was Monday, May 18th version of Core Fusion. But I'll mark the class on the feed so you can find it. I hope everyone had a great weekend. Hi, Christy. Woo. <laughs> Welcome to class. Hi, Nicole. See you later for our meeting. <laughs> 11.30. <laughs> just checked my calendar. So we're just going to let everybody join in if you are oh, setting up for class. I have a medicine ball, but any object between 8 and 10 pounds, this is a 12-pound medicine ball. Hasn't changed since the last time I used it. Uh, so if you have a medicine ball, go for it. Um, but any object that's around 8 to 10 pounds is a... Good morning, Bella. So I think some people had some trouble with their feeds on Saturday. Um, just some troubleshooting things while we have time waiting here for everyone to join in. Uh, sometimes if you, depending on what device you're using, uh, if your Wi-Fi is a little shaky, I think sometimes after a storm, uh, th it causes some connection issues. So either sometimes if you're on Wi-Fi, switching to data, if you have a data, you know, unlimited data plan, that might help you view the video a little bit better or vice versa. Sometimes the data is not as good, but the Wi-Fi is better. So switching from one to the other might be very helpful if you're using a device like... Hi, Marcy. Hi, Holly. So those are just some troubleshooting tips if you're having trouble with your device. Also, sometimes I think if you have your device turn one way, you might have not as much of a screen. Uh, I videotape, we videotape it with a horizontal screen to get the maximum horizontal range. So those are some tips to kind of streamline or make your, your viewing a, blip, a little bit better. But if the other troubleshooting is just to refresh uh, your Facebook and sometimes that will help if you've lost some feed. Good morning, Dara. So for everyone who's joined, an 8 to 10 pound weight, your mat, all the usual stuff, nothing more than that. We'll be down on the mat for most, a little bit of standing work, and then back down to the mat for uh, the rest of our class. So if you want to grab your weight and just put it off to the side, and we're going to start down on the mat, kind of start traditionally how we most of the time start is in our planks. So if you also want to get your mat out if you haven't done that already. And we're going to all get down onto the floor. Again, I hope you all had a great weekend. Let's kick it off. Another week. Okay, I want you in a down dog. Just get a little stretch and a little mobility going before we get into stronger work. So curl your toes, press into down dog, and just bring yourself forward into plank. But I'm going to have you drop your legs and just relax. Curl your toes, your back to down dog. Bring yourself forward to plank. Let your legs fall down to the ground. Release in the hips. Do that about three or four more times. Forward into plank. Drop your legs to the floor. Come into an up dog. Curl your toes. Last two, forward into plank. Release the legs down. Release your hips. One last time. Curl your toes. Back to plank. Lower your legs down and relax. And find your way back into plank. And I want you to tap your shoulder, tap your shoulder, and open up into side plank. I'm going to show from the knees just to give another option. Tap your shoulder, tap your shoulder, and open up into side plank. We're going to alternate sides. So go right ahead. Tap, tap, and open. We are in our workout, everybody. Tap, tap. And side plank, back to plank, tap shoulder, tap shoulder, and open. Tap, tap, and open. 
Keeping your hips square to your floor. Tap, tap. Kind of waking up our bodies. Open. We're going to do two more on each side. Tap, tap, and open. Tap, tap, and open. Last time. Tap, tap, open. One more to the other side, and we are done. We're going to move on. Now, only five of these. Push up, press up, side plank. Do it again. Now to the other side. Press up, open. Push up, press up, open. Push up, press up, open. Last two. Push up, press up, open. Remember, option always is there to drop to your knees if you need. Now find your plank. Mountain climber, nice and slow. Hold on to it. Knee going across to the opposite elbow. Hands under shoulders. Now find your plank, getting a little tough. Walk it down, walk it up. Option on your knees. Press. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two. Hold a low hover on your forearms. Walk your feet in. Walk your feet back. In, in, back, back. Hold on. Work it out. Feeling the intensity build. You're almost to a break. And I said almost, not there yet. In, in, back, back. In, in, pike up. Lower knees, walk it back. Do it again. Walk in, pike up. Lower knees, walk back. In, in, pike. Drop, walk back two more times. In, in, pike, lower knees, walk it back. Last time, in, in, and I have one more thing before you can get your break. In, in, I forgot the pike. Gonna give you an extra one. Knees lower, walk it back. Up high, 30 seconds, mountain climbers, fast as you got. Come on. Time to power in. 20 more seconds. Come on. 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Sit back. You got it. We're going to grab our ball or weight and lower ourselves down to the mat. Okay. Balls overhead or weights overhead. Feet are on the floor and I want you to anchor your low back down. Here's our sequence. We're gonna do it twice. Pull your knees in, feet back to the floor, crunch in and back. Legs lift. Toes back down, abs stay engaged, and crunch in. Let's go eight more times. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, back. Six more, up, down, keep your abs strong, don't let go, try not to relax, and stay anchored to your floor. Four more. Three more. One more. 
Next up, single leg jackknife. Ball or weight behind your head. Come up, single leg. Bring it back down, switch. Up, switch, up. Slowly lower back to your floor, up, back. Single leg option. Now I'm gonna go to a double leg in a little while, but I want you to remember the single leg option as the one you may choose to stay with. If your body's just saying, nope, not ready for the double. Keep going with the single. We're not ready for double yet. Kind of warming it up. One more time to each side. And we're going right into our sprinter sit up with a row. We're going to twist, come up, pull the knee in and twist. Knee pulls in towards your chest and you're going to rotate the weight to your side. Adding a little bit of speed to it, but never losing control. Last few. Now, remember I said we're going to go to a double jackknife. We're only doing five. Otherwise, you're doing six and alternating. Here we go. Take yourself up. Both legs up. Slowly lower. Let's do it again. Remember the single leg option that we already played with. Go right to that. Ooh. May not always be the best. One more time. Double. Lower down. And we are back to our crunch. Here we go. Knees up. Crunch up. Staying active. We're already on our second round. That's it. Fight for it. Six more. Four more. Anchoring down. Never losing the anchor. Last two. And we're going back to our single leg jackknife. Here we go. Weight behind you. Come up. Single leg. Switch sides. You know the circuit. Trying to keep the work building up in our core. We'll get a break once we're through. But if you need it, you take it and get back in as soon as you can. Last three. Up. Last one on each side. And we're coming to our sprinter sit up with the twist. Bring it up, twist. Knee comes in towards your chest. Holding on to your work. We're gonna go two more times to each side. Let's count it out. Four. Three. Two. Last one. And double jackknife. Here we go. Woo. Let's try that again. Let's bring it up. Gotta be careful not to throw your weight too fast because it's harder to find the balance. So you actually want to go slower and controlled and then slow and controlled on the release. Four more. Remember option to stay with your single leg jackknife. Last two. 
Last one. Best you got. Release your weight. Put it off to the side. We're going to lay down. Maybe you need to hug it in for a moment. Now, arms resting right beside your hips or just a little bit underneath. I'm going to have you tuck your chin, extend your legs, but with soft knees. We're just going to lift your left leg while you keep yourself contracted and anchored. Chin is slightly tucked. Anchoring, feeling that knot in your belly. Hold on to the knot. Hold on to it. Yeah, we'll switch sides in a moment. Last couple on this side. And switch. Switch to the right side. Just the single leg. Letting the knot build an intensity. Brace and anchor. Continually holding your position. Chin is slightly tucked. Without putting strain in your neck, your eye gaze, you should look up to like the crease between the, the wall and your ceiling. But remembering, the lift is from here, not here. Last couple. And now take your right arm, or your left arm that is, and your left leg, and lift arm and leg. We've done these before. Anchor down, hold on to your work. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and you know what you're going to do. You're going to switch sides, right side. Keeping the knot, you got this. Six, five, four, three, and we're going to go for a double arm, double leg. Arms back, legs. 10, 9, knees are soft. They can be even bent a little bit more because this is a little bit harder. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Leave your legs up there and pulse. 20, 20 pulses. Stay here. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring your legs down. Take a moment. Re-anchor. Hands are back, either under your glutes or right beside them. Tuck your chin. Brace your abs and anchor down. Just your left side. Here we go. Starting from the top. Last round. Hold on to it. Want to feel that burn? And hold on to it as long as we can. Straight up. Bracing your abs to lift your leg. Last few on this side and we switch. Right side. Here we go. Side will tire out faster. We've already built up some fatigue. Hold on to it. Remember. Don't pull your head forward. Just brace your abs. Put all your energy there. Last few on this side. And we're going to take our left arm and left leg and lift together. Hold on. Anchor down. You got this. Five, four, three, Two, and you know what we're going to do. We're going to switch sides, right side. Five, four, three, and now the struggle one. Both arms, both legs. Remember, you can bend your knees a little bit more. Hold on to it. Five, four, three, two. 
Last one, legs stay up, pulse it. 20 times, reach up towards your shoelaces. The circuit's almost done. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Knees in, roll yourself up, and let's grab our ball or dumbbell or weighted object. And we're going to stand up. Dave's going to adjust the camera, make sure you can see me. We're going to reach up, take yourself into a lunge. So your left leg is back. And I'm going to turn to the side in a moment, but you're going to pulse while you keep the ball up. The ball doesn't really change. Your arm position doesn't change. And then you're just going to lift and balance, okay? So let me show it from the side. So just your left leg back. You're standing. The front leg is your right side. Just pulse a few times and lift. Okay, here we go. Balance. Brace your core. Pulsing at the bottom of your lunge, wherever that is. Trying to balance for the moment while you hold. Last couple on this side. And then we're going to bring the weight down from above our head and switch sides. Give your shoulders a break for a second. Switch sides. We're only doing one lap of this standing work. So once we're done with a side, we're done. Ball back up. If the weight on in your hands gets too heavy, just leave your arms up without holding something. Okay, here we go. Pulse and balance. Pulse and balance. Hold on to it. Right? Brace your core. That is our focus. Even though everything is getting worked, our focus starts from our belly button out. Last few. Last one. Pulse it out. Stand up and release. Giving yourself the break. Now, our left leg is back again. Ball is up. Our knee is going to come in and we're going to twist. And then we come back. We're going to do 10 on each side. That's it. So drop into your lunge, drive your knee forward, in, and then return. That's 10 right there. Did you do it? Okay, let's do the other nine. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Nice control. Four. Yeah, rock it. Three. Two. And one. Shake it out. Other side. Wait up. Drop in. We have 10 of these. Twist. Might find that one side's a little bit better with the balance. Nine. Eight, seven, six. How's everybody feeling? Five, Woo. four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Now, hold on to your weight. Take it down. Step or jump back, jump in, drop into your squat, and press. Okay, 10 times. That's it. This is 10, okay? Me demoing was just practice. 10 of these. Remember, option to walk back, walk in, reach up. I'm not rushing you. I want you to find strong. That's four, 
five, remember I said 10, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, and one more drill before we finish. Okay, you're gonna drop out to the right side, come up, lift your knee, and rotate. 10 from each side, rotate. So you're rotating across your midline, right there, right at your waist. Lost track of count, so I'm gonna call that five. Six, seven, eight, nine, one more, 10. Now we know what we gotta do. Other side, almost there. Down and rotate. Down and rotate. I'm not rushing. Try to get your balance, especially on the knee in. This is gonna be five. I don't know, I'm losing count on this particular move. Six, so we might do extra. Seven, eight, nine, last one, best ever. 10, back to center, down. Okay, ball away. We're gonna move to our mat. If you need a sip of water, go grab it. Okay, we are down. We're getting into a little bit of a superset part of class. We're working two different moves or combinations per round. We're gonna do each round twice. Okay, so we got a push up. Everybody knows their push-up. So I'm gonna show them. We're gonna alternate sides. So we're only doing five on each side, but a total of 10. We're gonna push up, reach your left arm under, and open up to side plank. And then once you're here, hip lift. Four, three, two, one. Back to plank. Push up. Now the right arm reaches over towards the left side, unwind, and then hip lift. One, two, three, four. Back to plank. We have eight more. Push up, reach under, spiral open. One, two, three, four. Back to plank. Push up, press up, reach underneath, open up, push. One, two, three, four. Back to plank. Down, up, reach, open. One, two, three, four. Back to flank. Getting hard, drop the knees. Push up, press, reach under, open up, and hip lift. One, two, three, four. Two more times on each side. Push up, plank, side plank. I forgot the reach. I will add it on the next one. Four times. Back to plank. The reach is a huge part to activate your obliques. Unwind and then push. Two, three, four. Back to plank. Last time on each side. Push up, reach underneath, open up. One, two, three, four. Back to plank. One last time. Down, up, reach underneath. Unwind, one, two, three, four. Back to plank, grab your ball or weight, and here we go. Just 10 of these, crunch in, extend out, pike up. That was one, in, extend, pike. Do it again, in, extend, pike. In, extend, pike, six more. 
So it's five, four, three, two, last one. Okay, we are back to our push ups. We know it. It's a push up, reach under, unwind, hip lift. 10 reps of that combo. Ready, set, go. Down, up, reach, open. One, two, three, four. Together. Down, up, reach, open. I'm going to show the knee option. Push up, press up, reach, open, hip lift, two, three, four. I'll stay with the knee option for a moment. Down, up, reach, unwind, push, two, three, four. Push up, reach underneath, unwind your body, push, one, two, three, four. Back to plank, push up. Press up, reach underneath, open, one, two, three, four. Two more times on each side. Down, push, reach, open, one, two, three, four. Feeling the fatigue, hopefully. Down, up, reach, up, one, two, three, four. Last round, make it your best. Commit to it. Push up, reach under, unwind a strong body. Push, two, three, four, back to plank, last round. Push up, reach underneath. We've reached a struggle point. One, two, three, four, roll over. Grab your weight. Extension sequence. Ball at your forehead, crunch in, extend, pike up. Extend, crunch in. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, and last one. Pull it in, extend out, pike up, extend, pull it in, and release the ball. Okay, we don't need that. We are going to be in a plank. We're working our mountain climber. Here's the sequence for mountain climbers. We're gonna bring our knee across, same, across and back. Now other side, across, same, across and back. That is your sequence for mountain climbers. Cross, same elbow, across and back. Cross, same, across and back. Just a time drill, not a rep drill. 30 seconds. This one has a little more of a cardio vibe. Last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. In with the legs. You can walk them in or jump them in. Back for plank. Reach back to the opposite toe. Reach back to the opposite toe. In, back, reach. Reach, in, back, reach, reach. Okay, walking it in, walking it back. Then you pike up like you're going into a down dog. Reach for the toes or the shin. Okay, you have 30 seconds. Play. Fifteen seconds. Five, four, three, two, 
one. Take a moment, and then we're going back in. Mountain climber sequence. Whew, it's warm. Here we go, 30 seconds of each. No break in between. Let's get it done. Knee across, same, across and back. Across, same, across and back. Hold on to it. Keep your core braced. Keep your shoulders over your wrist. Five seconds left. Okay, here it is. Half burpee. Toe touch. Toe touch. Fifteen seconds. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Throw it over. Okay. We're going to be on our backs for the next two drills. Bicycles, 20 bicycles. And then we're going to do a spine rotation, legs side to side. We'll figure it out when we get to it. I'll cue you once we get into those. First up is bicycle, fingertips to temples. And we're gonna go slow on these, but we're just counting up to 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yep. 10, 11, anchor down, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, anchoring strong, 17, 18, 19, and 20, arms wide, legs extended for more intensity, Bend, you're gonna drop your legs, anchor both shoulders, brace through the obliques, and pull your knees using your oblique muscles to lift your legs over to the other side. Back up. Never drop to the floor. Keep the intensity in your core. Anchor shoulders strong so you're active up here, trying to maintain your position. Side to side. You can play with the range to intensify. You can extend your legs further for to intensify. You need a little bit less, you bend your knees in. Let's go three more times to each side. And we're gonna do one more round. Last one on each side. And then bring your knees back over your hips, fingertips to temples. And here we go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16. Yeah, hold on. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. Don't rush. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Legs extended, arms anchor, shoulders anchored to the ground, side to side. Find your range. Breathe. <sighs> Inhale as you drop your legs. Exhale <sighs> as you lift your legs. <sighs> We're getting close to the end, everyone. So grabbing everything you can from this class right now as we start to finish up our work. Last couple to each side. 
one more. <sighs> nice work. Bring your knees in. We're going to roll up. Come to all fours. Now, you can do this on your knees, but I'm challenging you to bring yourself into a little bit of a hover position in your tabletop position by hovering the knees. And you're going to lift left leg, right leg, left arm, right arm. Here we go again. Around the world. Left leg, right leg, right arm or left arm, and then the other. Here we go. Up, 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 up. Hold on to it around the world. And you can switch directions. Why not, right? Fifteen more seconds. Almost there. Last time around. And then I want everyone down on the ground in a hover. Lock it in, 30 seconds. Option to be on your knees or toes. Fifteen seconds. Lock it in. Strong body. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Drop your knees. Come back to all fours. Yes, we're doing it one more time. We are too close to the end. Stop now. Hover the knees or keep the knees on the ground. You decide. Up, 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 up. Let's keep going around. One limb at a time. Hold on to it. Brace your core. It's a time drill. 15 more seconds. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and you know where to go. Right to your hover. Lock it in 30 seconds. Twenty seconds. Lock it in. Fifteen. 10 seconds, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Release your body to the floor. Now, take your arms forward, and we're going to alternate. This is it. We're going to finish off with just a little quick back combo, and then you're going to sit back in child's pose. Arms extend forward. You're going to lift right arm, left leg, and release. Brace your core. Try to lift, but also reach. So it's a combination of both movements. Lifting and reaching with your foot and your hand. Just keep alternating. Brace your abs as strong as you can. And try not to lift your arm and leg too high that you push the energy into your low back can go into the glute, but I want you to think about keeping a neutral torso. Last couple. And then I want you to bring your feet down. Your arms are right by your side. Palms face away from your body. Thumbs are up like you're hitchhiking. And just pulse your arms in as if you're trying to pulse the arms closer into your body. Brace your core. Keep a nice static position in your back extension here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Last time, arms forward. This time, you can lift both arms and legs at the same time or just opposite arm and leg. You decide. Brace your abs, lift and lower. Again, lifting but reaching, keeping a neutral torso, bracing your abs strong, not lifting too high that it goes into your low back. 
Last five. Last two. And on this last one, just hold on to it for a moment. And then you're going to bring your arms down by your side, palms face away, and you're going to pulse. Your arms kind of pulse up and down. You even slightly pulse your torso, but very small. It's more about contracting your abs. You can even tighten your glutes. Ten, nine, eight. Hold a strong position. Five, four, three, two, and hold your cobra nice and strong. Arms reaching strong behind you, pulling your shoulders away from your ears. Abs are braced strong. Glutes are tightened up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three two and one hands under shoulders and you have earned yourself a child's pose on your exhale sit back reach your arms forward maybe come to all fours little cat cow breathe in push energy into your back and exhale let's try that a couple more times round the back inhale expand the back of your body and inhale, release, or exhale, release. Inhale, expand your back, and inhale. I mean, exhale, and release it out. Curl your toes, bring your feet in, find a fold. Letting every bit of tension leave your body and roll yourself all the way up. Take a breath in, let's go into a side bend to each side. Nice work, everyone. That is Core Fusion for Monday, May 18th. I hope you had a great weekend, and I look forward to seeing you through the rest of the week. Just to note, this coming Thursday night, there is a two-hour event about healthy eating. It's called Party in Your Plants. Uh, it's, it's a member of the JCC or former member of the JCC right, former member, former member of the JSU, who is a comedian and slash healthy connoisseur, and she's put together an event to learn how to have fun, you know, put fun into healthy eating. A lot of times when we think healthy, we think boring, but she's trying to spice it up. So do check it out. It's You can sign up for it. I mean, obviously, you can still attend, but if you sign up for it, you'll get um, the links and the reminders to that it'll be happening. So it's a, it's considered a special event. And if you go to our website, you can click on it. You can even find it on our uh, Mandel JCC Fitness Friends page. And you can uh, say you're going. And then you'll get information saying, just reminding you that it's this Thursday. That's at 7 o'clock on Thursday night. So check it out. I hope you all have a great Monday. Thank you for joining me for class. I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye.